Good morning. Good morning. morning. What uh, I'm doing great. What vehicle is this for? A GX. A GX. Lexus. A... Lexus. 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 I go buy it. I owe you a dollar for the mask and four for this thing. Okay. These are all sticking together. Yeah, there's five. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck at the sale. Thank you. You mind if I make a pile? You've been collecting all this stuff? Uh, my dad, he's, he's 94, 94. Oh my goodness. 93. And uh, I've been selling, trying to get rid of some of this stuff for a few years. Yeah. But he still collects too. Uh, I have sold a lot of good stuff on eBay and different things. have all them for a dollar piece if you will. Oh, the toppers, that's cool. Yeah. Those are neat, the metal ones too. Yeah. I buy those. Yeah, People are crafting with those nowadays. Yeah. Making wine toppers and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, it's well, hard to find the metal ones. You gotta yeah. go back to like the 70s and earlier that's to find right. the metal See, ones. He, he collected a lot of them. He loved to collect metal stuff. Yeah. Kind of metal items and just anything weird, he bought it. He Oh, the King's Island. How cool is that? I gotta buy those. <laughs> That's too neat. Yeah, I'll go ahead and settle up with you here. Yeah, okay, Let's see. I'm at three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. I appreciate that. Uh, Eighteen. Twenty-one. 23, 25, 28, Let's see, 31, 31 and a quarter, um, 30 bucks, okay, I appreciate that, thank you. There you go. All right, brother. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Hope you make you a bunch of them. I appreciate it. Good luck with the sale. I saw these chairs for sale. The note said they had 10 new in the box. They showed that the QVC price was like 122 and they were selling them for right around 50 bucks a piece. And I thought about making an offer on all of them, but it looks like they're only selling for like $100 free shipping on eBay. And after you factor in the shipping costs and the fees and everything, I'm not sure there was much profit to be made on these. So I passed. Okay, I think I'm just going to do your printer. Does your printer work? The black one? Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. What's up, guys? It is Monday morning on Saturday. I went to a handful of garage sales. Didn't find a ton of stuff, but what I did find, I think I'll make some really good money on. Got it all pulled out. I'm going to show you what I bought. I got this bleeding ghost face mask from Scary Movie. This was a spoof of Scream and i paid a dollar for it it's not worth as much as the original like scream mask some of those go for really big money like hundred dollars and up there's a lot of different variations of them this one i had a hard time finding uh comps i think i saw one sell for around 40 or 50 bucks uh it's a perfect time of year for this halloween's just around the corner so i'll probably list this for maybe 50 60 bucks or best offer and see what happens but i'm gonna do it for a buck so plenty of money to be made there i got this canon pixma printer uh, mx 922 it was only 10 bucks 
and I really don't like messing with printers unless there's some good money to be made. This one sells for about $120 plus shipping, so it will be a hassle, <laughs> like testing it and listing it and shipping it, but uh, plenty of profit to be made on that one to actually make it worth my time. So if you see printers, most of them aren't worth money, like the little HP ones and stuff that you see typically aren't worth much, but just look them up, see what they sell for. If you know they're selling for $100 and up, it might be worth your time. The majority of what I found was at one sale. I got a ton of toys, a bunch of cool odds and ends, and the guy was willing to work with me. Prices were already really cheap, so I really wasn't trying to talk him down. I think he ended up giving me a couple dollar discount in the end, and then he ended up doing another discount because I was looking at like this Pirates of the Caribbean and this uh, Power Rangers telephone. He's like, just give me five for the pair. So I was super grateful for that. All kinds of cool stuff. I got some uh, MLB yo-yos, King Griffey Jr., Tony Gwynn. What's funny is that it's Racing Champions is the brand that made these yo-yos. Uh, which is like a NASCAR brand. That's kind of different. Let's see, we got NWO. There's some neat ones in here. I'm probably going to sell these on whatnot because I don't think they have a ton of value. But, you know, if I could even get a few bucks a piece for them, I'd be pretty happy with that because I'm into them for a dollar each. Got this uh, Spuds McKenzie uh, squeak toy. I thought that was too cool. I'm probably keeping that. Uh, I'm probably keeping this too. I just thought this baseball guy was really funny. I've got a big uh, collection of little baseball memorabilia and stuff. Got this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I think this is a coin bank from 94. It's pretty cool. A lot of little odds and ends. A lot of action figures. I'm not even sure who this guy is. I just thought he looked cool. A couple different bags of action figures. Um, this, I think, has some of the Seven Dwarves in it. Just like some random figures. Let's see. There was one in here that caught my eye. I think it was this guy right here. I'm not sure what he is. I'll have to, like... Do some research if you guys have ever used the google image search it's a great tool to uh, look things up because uh, you can just take a picture of it and it'll like actually do a search on the internet and tell you what it is and most of the time it's accurate which is cool got a popeye and sun belt still with the uh, little lee hanger oh this is awesome here's a, a vintage police belt with the belt buckle original uh sticker and everything let's see more action figures and these are some uh, miniature King's Island Eiffel Towers. We got an amusement park here in Cincinnati called King's Island, and they built a uh, replica Eiffel Tower. So these are just little, like, souvenir Eiffel Towers that were sold in the park. Also got some trophy toppers from them, and these are all metal. It's hard to find the metal ones uh, because around the, like, 70s or 80s, they started switching to plastic ones. We've got a bowling. Let's see, I think there's a couple bowling. Looks like there's a diving one. Um, there's a golf one, and people are crafting with these now, so you can sell them and make a little bit of money. I'll probably just lot all these together, and they should sell for 25 30 bucks, I think. Last thing I found is this rear retractable cargo cover for a Lexus GX. So I think this goes uh, in the back of the car when you lift up like the back hatch or whatever. Um, this is kind of like a divider thing. I've seen these before, and I've sold them before. They do take a little bit of time to sell, but a lot of times these just get in people's way. They don't want them in their car, so they just take them out, and that was the case with this one. So uh, this is OEM, um, Original Equipment Manufacturer, I think is what OEM stands for. And a lot of people are looking for this stuff. Um, believe it or not, I saw one of these sell for $200. They might have taken the best offer, I don't know, but for $4, I was all over this, uh, especially being uh, from Lexus. So... All listed, it might take me a few months to sell to find that right buyer, and it might be a pain to ship, but for $4, I had to buy it. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.